What's up everyone, HippoTC here, and if you have not heard, my channel is for late teens and adults. If you're under the age of 13, then you need to get the heck out of here. This channel is not for you. Now, with that being said, I want to share with you guys a goal that I have to become a Sea of Thieves partner. To do that, I need a minimum of 20,000 subscribers. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please consider doing it. It gets me one step closer to my goals, and it gets me one step closer to possibly making this a full-time deal and I can't do that without you and I cannot do that without your support I'm really excited about today's video so I'm starting something new on my channel called the researcher tales basically it's my take on the lore in the sea of thieves I'm mixing together what's happening in the game with this character I've created with another pirate his name is the researcher and he's feeding the cursed captain all of this information on top of that, he's a part of a new secret society I'm calling the Black Blade. Now, you may have heard a little bit about this, but I love to create stories and I love to mix together lore with what's going on in the game. So this Researcher Tales series is basically that. So with all that being said, thank you for hitting subscribe. Thank you for watching up to this point, And I hope that you enjoy the Researcher Tales, a new series, a storytelling series, right here on Hippo TC. Ahoy mates. Boy, do I have a tale to tell you today. I was out minding my own business, sending souls to the ferryman when I got word from the researcher information has come to his attention that he knew I needed to know right away. And here is what he wrote. Ahoy, curse captain. It's been a while since we've spoken, but rest assured, I've been scouring the seas for new information for you. And believe me, there is much to talk about, as I'm sure you're aware. Up until now, our friend Duke has been missing from the various taverns, and Stitcher Jim has manned the post in his stead. In the past few months, I've been sailing the seas, searching for clues on the whereabouts of Flameheart. I returned to the site of Flameheart's revival, and I was surprised to run into Duke. He appeared to be looking for something, and he asked me to accompany him on his journey. We journeyed far and wide and found ourselves in an unknown area that he called the Heart of Fire. Upon arrival, he asked me to watch the ship in case we needed to make a quick getaway, which seemed a little bit out of character for Duke. I waited for about an hour or so, and finally I saw Duke hobbling back to the ship. He looked like he'd been beaten within an inch of his life. When I finally pulled him aboard and put the Heart of Fire behind us, I noticed he was missing an eye. Something or someone hurt him badly but he wouldn't say what or who. He just kind of curled into a ball and hid below deck as we sailed. I couldn't get a word in until we finally docked at Ancient Spire Outpost. I asked him if he was looking for Lariana, and he had a confused look on his face and said that while that was a pretty good idea, he hadn't seen her for years. I also asked him about the mysterious note he left, and he had no clue about that either. When we finally sat down in the tavern, Jim had already vanished mysteriously. I've also had the right hand Selrintha monitoring activity at the Reaper's hideout as well, and there's been some eerie changes to the island. It seems that the masked stranger is fortifying the island with scaffolding and cannons, and that's not even the best part. The original pit where the first Reaper chest was dug up now glows with a bright red and orange color. I decided to check it out for myself, and sure enough, it looks like the beginnings of a new skeleton fort, though I cannot be sure just yet. Upon speaking with the masked stranger, she talks about needing more funds to continue construction, saying that she has an investor and that we shall see soon enough what is coming. I also asked her her whereabouts of Stitcher Jim, and she only said that his role will come into play very soon. Mark my words, cursed captain. The seas are about to become red, red with the blood of pirates. I think there is enough evidence to suggest that Reaper Hideout is going to be the site of Flameheart's revival, 
or at the very least a location in which we will battle him. I can almost guarantee that the mysterious investor is Flameheart himself. I hope you've sharpened your cutlass and cleaned your flintlock, Captain. I fear you will have to use him very soon. For now, I will keep a watch and send word if I hear or find anything else.